So as I'm sure everybody knows by now, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out in about two days, and I really can't help but notice that all these game journalists are doing their best effort to try to shit on this game, and the number one culprit of that is Polygon. They've now had two different articles about Cyberpunk, basically just kind of shitting on the game so far, and the developers. So this was the first article they posted, I think it came out about two days ago, and the title of the article reads, it sucks that Cyberpunk 2077's edgelord marketing works so well. Wow, if that's not dramatic, I don't know what the hell is. So I read the whole article on this. Basically, the synopsis of it is a lot of people are outraged about this picture right here, which is a poster of a trans woman, and it's supposed to be an ad in the game or in the world of Cyberpunk. And they're basically saying instead of using a trans person as a character or something, they're just basically just subjectifying uh, trans people and kind of mocking them. Which they even themselves said that they don't even know if that's for sure what they were doing. I mean, even right here in their own article, they said they genuinely might have meant well with the Mix It Up poster. And then right under it, though, they go on and just backtrack on what they just said right there. And we're basically just talking about why they personally believe that they didn't mean well with that poster. And then they also go on to talk about how the cyberpunk developers had to do crunch, which is basically where the uh, developers had to work extra hours and extra days to get the job or get the game done on time, which I think is really bad. I don't think they should be, you know, forcing them to work these extra outrageous hours just, just to get the game done on time whenever they should have planned it ahead on how long it's going to take and give them enough, you know, time to actually finish the game. But I don't think that has anything to do with how good the actual game is or why people shouldn't buy it because that's what it seems like Polygon's trying to do because they had another article today called Cyberpunk 2077 is Dad Rock, not New Wave. Which is just a fucking hilarious title because, I mean, I think most of the people that are getting this game enjoy the, this type of era and that's why it's getting so much popularity. You know, the whole style, like the rock and roll, you know, type of uh, cyberpunk thing and they're basically just shitting on it the whole time saying that, you know, this style is old and this isn't basically what people want now. And then they go on again about the mix it up uh, poster and basically a bunch of more stuff about how cyberpunk isn't woke enough for them or whatever and how the developers are anti-woke or something and it just kind of seemed like they just kind of have a vendetta against the uh, game or something before it even came out. It just seems like this is just the game to hate right now for uh, these super woke Twitter people. Yeah, and this isn't me trying to be like some white knight coming in on my horse and trying to defend cyberpunk to the end of the earth. But I just thought it was kind of unfair that they're just judging this game so hard before the actual even release of the game. And they're basically just kind of salty about how the game is getting popularity when they don't really agree with uh, how or what's going on in the game, I guess. Or they don't they just don't like it, so they basically are mad that people are getting excited for this game. And I've also even been seeing people on Twitter just spamming and uh, trying to basically tell people to pirate Cyberpunk instead of paying the full price because of the crunch hours and stuff like that. And because they think the game is uh, transphobic or not inclusive enough for their liking. So they're basically encouraging people to pirate the game, which is just crazy because I feel like that would kind of affect the workers that actually, you know, had to crunch those hours because their game's not going to do as good and be as profitable for them but it's just funny how uh, people just bend on their morals that quickly and basically encourage people to commit a crime but yeah uh, I guess this is pretty much the end of the video here this is all I really wanted to talk about I just think it's kind of interesting that all these game journalists and people on Twitter are trying to shun this game and trying to get it hated before the release of the actual game or before people can even you know make their own opinions about it they're basically just labeling it as all this shit like transphobic but yeah that's all I wanted to talk about so if you guys enjoyed this video leave a rating and yeah peace out everybody